Our agenda is clear. What's at stake should not be underestimated. The decisions we make today will reverberate for years to come. And influence whether or not the world continues to put their trust in the Justice League. Please, take your seats. We have work to do. Another expansion of the League could generate another escalation of hostilities from our enemies. No one needs or wants another in Justice League. Point taken, but the option remains to vote no on all candidates. So, I nominate Icon for League membership. Why? Because you suspect Icon might be Kryptonian like you did with Captain Marvel? You thought I was Kryptonian? Cool! Icon interests me also. As does his protege, Rocket. Athena knows the League could use more female members. Agree. Hear, hear! Seriously? The Atom? Well, how useful could he be at that size? It's the size that makes him useful. Absolutely. Still, we could always use more raw power. And Earth has a third Green Lantern, a Guy Gardner. No. But we could really... No. If we're considering Blue Devil, then I nominate Red Arrow. Roy has more experience, and he's no kid anymore. He's 18. A legal adult. He's ready. Is he? Red Arrow has been uncooperative and disrespectful. If we reward that behavior, what message does that send to the rest of the team? No. Red Arrow may be 18, but the rest of the team is too young. We're not inducting children into the League. That seems myopic. I have been one with Kid Flash and Aqualad. Both are ready. And what of Zatanna? Absolutely not! That sounded almost protective, Doctor. At least we know Zatara is still in that helmet somewhere. Why is Dr. Fate a member? You coerce Zatara into giving up his life to you, or else lose his daughter instead. Not cool. Should such behavior be condoned? Zatara desires Dr. Dr. Fate to remain with the League. Oh, please. It is true. Zatara's trust in Nabu is measured. He desires the League to maintain a close watch upon us. Plastic Man. <laughs> I don't know, the guy's got a pretty substantial criminal record. <laughs> sorry, sorry. The, the guy just cracks me up. <sighs> Maybe it's time we all talked about the elephant in the room. Should Captain Marvel stay a member, now that we know he's really only ten years old? He does possess an adult body and the wisdom of Solomon. Wisdom does not equal maturity. Hey, I'm sitting right here. Then, Billy, maybe you should leave until we've hashed this out. No. Captain Marvel is a member and is entitled to participate until or unless he's voted out. It's not just his age. It's the fact that he lied about it. I didn't lie, exactly. I just left out the part about being a kid. A lie of omission is still a lie. You kept an important secret from us. No one in the League knew the truth. I did. I shouldn't be surprised. Since you indoctrinated Robin into crime-fighting at the ripe old age of nine. Robin needed to help bring the men who murdered his family to justice. So he could turn out like you? So that he wouldn't. You seem to have reached consensus that 18 years is a suitable minimum age for joining the League. Yet what of Miss Martian? Though she is a biological adolescent by Martian standards, she was born 48 Earth years ago. So what is the deciding factor? Chronology or biology? Take Superboy. Exactly. He's less than a year old. Does he have to wait 17 more to stand beside us? No other ideas? Then here are candidates for new or continued membership. We've debated origin, gender, size, experience, age, temperament, and background. But what is the fundamental criterion for membership? When all is said and done, the question must be, whom do we trust? Trust to fight beside us. Trust to have our backs. Trust to uphold the high standards.